Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Vivecraft into your Minecraft mod pack, which essentially allows you to use uh, a VR headset and the hand controllers in a mod pack. So the first thing you'll need to do is head to the website vivecraft.org forward slash downloads. I'll have the link for this in the description, but just in case I thought I'd read it out to you. Um, once you're on this page, what you want to do is scroll down until you see uh, current versions. And what we're after for this example is going to be the 1.16 X version, for in this uh, situation it's 0.5, but if that changes, it should be the same link here. If you're using a different version, you can find it here, and you can even find some uh, really older ones back here, like 1.7.10. Um, but what we want is to look for VR client and the Minecraft version, and we want this one right here. So Vivecraft 1.16.x. So we're going to click on this, and then that will take us over to this page here. And then all we want to do is um, make sure that we're at the right one. So 1.16.5 version 7. That's what we're doing for this example. And we want to click on this one. Um, the Vivecraft 1.16.5 JR Buddha uh, 71 installer.exe. We don't want the non-VR one and we don't want any of these other things. So it's the one right here. The one that is just the installer. So you click on that and it should start downloading. And you can pick where you want to place it. Now, before we actually launch the installer, there's one extra piece of information we're going to want to get, and that is the mod pack directory. So, for this example, I'll be using all the mod 6 to the sky, but you can use any mod pack as long as you have the right uh, Minecraft version and the right Vivecraft Minecraft version. So, we're using 1.16.5. So, what we want to do is, it, we can do this from the My Mod Packs page right here. Right click on the mod pack, and then click on Open Folder. That will open up the mod pack directory. And you know you have the right spot when you can see the mods folder. That, that's the clear giveaway. And then what we want to do is click on the tab at the top, which will highlight all of this stuff. Then we want to right click it and click copy. So this entire bit at the top, we want to copy. And we're, we're just going to save that for later. Now, I, I think I forgot to mention this at the start. Uh, we're going to be using CurseForge and we're actually going to be using the vanilla Minecraft launcher uh, in order to launch this. So just the launch that you get from the Minecraft website, right? Um, so I, I didn't think I need to show how to install all of that stuff, but if I do, let me know in the comments and I might make another video, uh, with all those details. So what we're going to do is now launch the installer. So we just double click that and it should load up another little window in a second. Yep. Here it is. And we, we essentially leave some of these things the same. So this one right here, we're going to leave the same, the, uh, path to dot Minecraft. That's going to use your normal Minecraft. So your vanilla Minecraft, uh, folder but it's going to create a new profile. So I'm pretty sure, that, but you might want to double check. I'm pretty sure that it's still safe to play normal Minecraft. Like you won't get picked up by any servers as uh, cheating or something. And on top of that, I think you can use Vivecraft in most Minecraft servers without getting uh, banned or anything. So, so you should be fine on that. But once again, most for most people, they're probably just trying to figure out this for uh, modern Minecraft. So this part, we leave the exact same. We tick install Vivecraft with Forge. Um, and we actually want to change this version because we want to make sure that it lines up with our uh, mod pack. So we're going to have to double check this, go back into the Curse Forge, click on the mod pack, um, and we can actually see it right here. Forge-36.1.2. So we can go back to the launcher over here. I might have clicked the link. Yeah, so we'll go over to the launcher here, and we want to tick custom version and make sure that it's the same as the Curse Forge one. So uh, we want to turn this 0 into a 1 and this 1 into a 2. So it's... 36.1.2, and you want to make sure that happens. Um, if you're running into any issues later down the track, maybe the Forge updated and it's incompatible with this one, so you might want to reinstall it, double check that you have the right version. So that part's fine. Um, we also want to have Create Vivecraft pro uh, Launcher Profile ticked. Uh, I'm going to allocate more RAM because I have 16 gigabytes total, so I'm just doing half of it. If you only have 8 gigabytes, maybe allocate 4. Um, but yeah, you, you can experiment with that and figure it out. So this should all be fine. I'm actually going to change this name to um, Vive Tutorial so that it doesn't intermingle with any other uh, profiles I have. And then we want to tick Mod Pack Directory, click these three dots here, and then we want to paste in the URL uh, the URL we had before. So if I do um, right click, or is it going to let me right click? No, I might just have to do Control and then V, and that will paste it in. So then what this is right here, if I click Open, is the directory from the mod pack. So I can show that off again. If we right click the mod pack, open folder, it's just this part up here, right? So that's where we put it in the mod pack directory. 
The path to Minecraft, we leave the same. The directory, we change. Then all we have to do is click install. So any anything else you leave unticked. Um, it asks you if you've closed the Minecraft launcher. I don't have the Minecraft launcher open. I do have the CurseForge launcher open, but that should be fine. Just make sure you have the actual Minecraft closed as well as the actual Minecraft launcher. Um, so we're going to click OK. Then it'll start doing stuff. Um, that happened really quickly. So there's a chance it didn't work because normally it has to install Optifine as well as Forge. But I think it should have worked. Uh, maybe because I've done this recently, it already had them downloaded. But that, that might take you a little while. Um, so I guess I'm going to click OK and it should be done. Then what we're going to do is actually launch the vanilla Minecraft launcher. All right, here we go. The launcher has actually loaded and you can see in the bottom left here, it automatically has selected the profile we made. So we have the Vive tutorial. Um, now, before we press play, we can actually double check something. If we click on installations, it'll show us all of the different ones we have here. So you can see this is the one that I used for my recent video that I made with the VR. And this is obviously the one we just made for the tutorial. We can click on this little folder right next to it and that will open uh, the mod the mod pack folder for this uh, profile. And hopefully it should open. Yep, look at this. It opened the CurseForge one. So it's opened all the mod six to the sky. So that's how we know that we should have set it up perfectly. Everything should be okay. If this doesn't take you to the mod pack you're trying to link it to, you might want to double check the step we did before. Make sure you have the right mod pack directory link uh, in there. So we should just be able to click play. Or if you're on this screen, you can click the bottom left here, find the one you want, Vive tutorial, click play. Now, but actually, before I do this, I should probably launch Oculus. Um, and I think sometimes you need Steam VR open as well. I don't, I don't think you do, but it, I, um, for me, I think mine opens my Steam. So make sure you have all of those updated and whatnot before you try this to make sure that, you know, everything's working right. Uh, I'm going to load Oculus and then I'll click play on this. I'm currently using the Rift S just in case there's any compatibility issues. But I think on the website, I can actually load this up. Um, if we click back, it, I believe it tells you um, right here. A Steam VR compatible headset. So yeah, you do need Steam VR open. Um, it tells you the ones that are Steam VR compatible, and then it tells you also you can use a non-compatible headset such as these ones, um, but you need to have a Steam VR emulator. Um, so so that, that'll probably be a little bit more tricky. I won't be going through that for this example because luckily I have a Steam VR compatible headset. Um, so I'm going to launch Oculus and then click play. All right, so before we actually launch the pack, there's one more step that I completely missed. I, I, I've recorded the rest of the video and I've realized uh, I need to fix this issue first. What you want to do is right click on your mod pack, click on open folder, and we actually have to change a config for one of the mods. It's pretty simple to do, but I'll, I'll just run it through you here. Um, so we're in this folder here just by right clicking and clicking open folder. And then we want to look for config, just config, not default configs, none of these other ones, just config. You want to double click on this and it should open up here. And then you want to scroll down until you find Astral Sorcery dash client. So Astral Sorcery dash client. Double click on this or open it in a notepad, however possible. Um, and then what you want to look for is sky rendering enabled. And essentially because we're using Optifine and because we're, um, cause that's what Vivecraft uses. Um, and because Vivecraft is, you know, using a different way to render Minecraft, you don't want it to be interfered with by other mods. So sky render enabled, you just want to highlight the quotes and Minecraft overworld and backspace that. And all that means is that the astral sorcery um, rendering of the sky won't happen. So, so, so that should be fine. That should solve the bug that you'll witness later on in this video that I forgot to uh, fix. Um, there's also one other possibility that I'll run through as well. And that is for Batania. Batania also has a similar thing. So if we double click on the Batania dash client, we have the same sort of thing. And then there's a bunch of uh, different ways to render here. So um, use of shaders for some of the mods renders. You want to turn that to false. E essentially anything that mentions rendering, you want to make false. So it's something about a fancy skybox over here. You want to make that false. Now you might not have to do this Batania one. Um, normally you just have to do Astral Sorcery. But since Batania does mess with the rendering, it is possible that that was causing the weird, uh, bu uh, the weird movement of certain blocks that you'll see later on in the video. Um, and then that, that's pretty much it. I think that's fine. Um, actually, I think this one you want to make true. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think, I think you leave this as false. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so, so that should be fine. That should be fine. And for both of these, make sure you save them. You can also, you know, load them up again. Make sure that they 
remain off. So astral sorcery dash client will double check this one. Yep, it's off. All right. Hopefully that should solve the issue that you'll see later on. If it doesn't, please do let me know in the comments and, and I'll try and figure out why that is. Um, but you can see the video that I uploaded either just before this one or just after this video on my channel. Um, obviously you don't have to, but I was playing with this mod just fine. No weird blocks moving around. So I'm, I'm not sure why that would be um, aside from it being this astral sorcery config. So um, yeah, continue on with the rest of the video. Goodbye. Alrighty, I have loaded up my Oculus as well as my Steam, so everything should be fine. Now, double check, Vive Tutorial, I'm going to click play. Uh, it'll tell you that you your uh, installation's modified, that's fine. We understand this, we don't want it to show up again. Then we click play. And now, this is where the waiting game begins. And normally, modern Minecraft takes a while. It takes a bit longer when you're trying to do the Vivecraft stuff, because it has to also run it through like all the VR thing. Um... Uh, after a little while, another window does pop up, and it will show you um, a preview of, like, the VR um, Minecraft, right? Um, and inside there, you're actually able to see the normal modded Minecraft uh, window that, that has, like, the loading bar. So you, you'll be able to see that if you have your headset on, um, but it does take a while, so I, I suggest just sort of, like, checking it every so often, making sure that it's still working, and it should be able to work... Essentially, you just want to not touch it, though, because um, with the mod of Minecraft, it's very prone to crashing as it is. Um, adding VR on top of that makes it a little bit more demanding on your computer. So you should be fine to just essentially leave it be. And, and this could take anywhere between a few minutes to 10 minutes to half an hour, or I guess if your computer's even slower than that, a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, this screen loads up, which is fine. Eventually, it turns into the VR version. Um, but yeah, essentially, you just wait. So I guess I will wait and show you guys me in the VR. So as you can sort of see now, I've still got my uh, he headset on, like my headphones with the headset sort of on my head. So it's, it's hard to show you guys, but you should be able to see down there. That's like the loading screen. It's now in this VR box room. So you can sort of somehow see down there. It's positioned really in a weird spot, but... This is just while it's loading. When it's loaded, it's nowhere near as uncomfortable to look at. So that should be loading down there. And once again, you just have to wait. And and you can leave your headset sitting on the side of, like, on your desk or wherever you put it. Um, because the entire screen here um, should change, which I'll be able to show you later uh, once it loads. But yeah, now it's just a waiting game. Uh, takes a little while. Be patient. Try not to break anything. <laughs> uh, we'll catch you guys in a, in a few minutes, hopefully. Now, as you can see, the game actually has loaded. So here I am. These are my little cursor hands. They turn into actual hands once you're in the game. Um, sometimes it looks different to this. I actually haven't seen this snow biome before. This actually looks pretty cool. Normally, I'm in the nether. Normally, that's where I spawn. So uh, I, I guess you spawn in different biomes and stuff. Um, this, this obviously isn't a world. This is just like the loading screen. Um, but what I'm going to do is actually show off um, the multiplayer function. So I'm going to click on multiplayer. I don't think my server's there, but I'll add the server. I'll uh, grab the IP. You can also have a little keyboard in here, like this. And to press the buttons, you just you just poke them. It's pretty cool. Pretty immersive. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me, let me uh, get the IP. I'll be back. All right, there we go. As you can see, the server shows up. Um, it shows that it's compatible um, because it's a mod pack server. Now, I don't actually have the Vivecraft mod in here. And all that means, I can still join the server... I can still play it in VR and stuff, but it means that other players won't be able to see, like, my arm movements. Uh, so from their point of view, I'll just be a normal Minecraft player. So um, for yourself, it doesn't really affect the gameplay, but if um, I guess you're playing with, like, another friend in VR, you might want to also install the mod to the server, um, which I haven't done before, and I might make a video for that, but um, I, I feel like that audience, like, the, the people who would need that tutorial is probably not as much as the people who just want to, you know, play the game in VR. So... It'll lag a little bit as you're joining the server, just as the normal game does if you're not playing in VR. And, and honestly, sometimes it can flash really, really fast in your eyes. So I suggest maybe closing your eyes or taking the headset off as it loads. And, and be very well aware that there can and likely will be lots of really fast flashes. So just give it its time. You know, you can take off your headset or, or if your headset's on too awkwardly to take off, you can just, just close your eyes and... Every so often, you know, open up, open them up and, and have a look inside. So I'll wait for this to load and just show you that it works. And as you can see, oh, it's still a little bit shaky and, and sometimes it's uh, 
laggy, just more things are loading. So if, if the performance is horrific when you first load in, maybe just give it a few minutes just to make sure that like your computer actually can't run it because it might just be loading. And then once it loads in, it actually runs pretty well. Now, I, I actually haven't seen this issue before. That is pretty funny that everything's sort of shaking around. But I can imagine that would be annoying. Um, this might have to do with Astral Sorcery because I haven't changed the client config on that. But aside from that, everything should be fine. Um, if you press one of the buttons on your controllers, um, for me, it is my Y button. Uh, it'll load up your options. And if you actually go into options, well, for one, you can, you know, calibrate height. You have a, a bunch of different, uh, Vivecraft options. But inside options, um, actually hidden behind this setting here, um, is the, um, VR settings. I believe you might be able to change that by changing the, the GUI scale to maybe like one or something. Um, but, but it's hidden behind here. Like I can click and see it loads up the VR settings. So there's just like a little hidden menu behind there. Um, no idea why it's so messed up, but, um, you can find a bunch of other options there and that's pretty much it. I, I think that covers just about everything. Once again, this weird, uh, Things shaking around bug. I think that's caused from Astral Sorcery. That's the only thing I can think of because I wasn't having this issue earlier on um, the my version of the mod pack that I play with shaders. And that's because in order to get shaders to work, you have to um, disable rendering for Astral Sorcery. So I'm going to guess that that's the issue. Uh, if that still doesn't work, please do let me know and, and, and I'll look into it a little bit further. But I'm pretty sure that's why. Um, so hopefully I edited that in so that you could see that part as well. Um, but yeah. That, that's about it. I'll try and keep this tutorial short because I, I know we don't want to have long tutorials here. Thank you guys for watching. If it did help you, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out quite a lot. Um, once again, these to the tutorial for this can essentially be found on the Vivecraft uh, website, but it always does help to see it happen, right? To like know exactly what step you're messing up on, follow along. Um, so hopefully it did help. And if you want to play on a server, I've got some servers set up. You can join the Discord to check that stuff out and... Uh, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Once again, ask your questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to either help or at least point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you uh, because I don't know everything. I, I'm, I'm not a super genius. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.